Hi, welcome to another video. So, Claude Code has been something that really started a wave of multiple CLI tools, and I have covered some on my channel as well. Like, there's Open Code, Open Hand CLI, Ader was already existing, and a bunch more stuff, and they are all good at some level. However, what if you could get a similar CLI tool to Claude and Open Hands that uses models like Claude for Sonnet? but is free to use with limits that refresh. Well, that is what I have today. This is called RovoDev Agents. This is by Atlassian, and in one line, it is basically like Claude Code, but with daily free 20 million credits of Claude 4 Sonnet. But to be honest, I have actually been liking it. It actually works pretty well for a lot of stuff. They claim that it achieves state-of-the-art results on the SWE Bench full benchmark, reaching a 41.98% resolve rate across 2294 tasks in the full dataset. It also supports MCP servers as well, and this is not open source either. It is integrated into the Atlassian Enterprise system and whatnot, but what matters for us is that you can set it up locally, and you can just use it with a simple setup and get a good amount of daily credits that have actually been serving me quite well. They also say that it has an adaptive memory system that basically uses memory files to retain project knowledge and adapt its behavior. And you can even customize its personality to match your team's style. Since it is aimed at things like enterprise, the security and reliability aspect is also quite good from what I have tried. Now, let me show you how it all works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, First Frame AI. First Frame is a crazy AI tool that brings all the best video creation tools together in one place for one price. It features models like VO2, Kling, HiLuo, and many more that you can use to generate stunning videos. It also has a movie generator that allows you to create entire movies with multiple AI-generated clips and make a cohesive short film with just one prompt. You can even create GIFs to share with others in seconds. The best part about it is the movie generator that can literally generate whole short movies for you. It gives you access to all kinds of video generation models for just $13 per month, giving you about 3,000 credits monthly. There's also the $34 diamond plan that gives you even higher limits. It gets even cheaper if you choose the annual plan. You can also use my coupon code AIKING25 to get an additional 25% discount on these already great deals. Make sure you check them out through the link in the description and build some cool stuff with it. Now, back to the video. So, using it seems tedious at first, but it isn't. To use it, you'll need to first create an Atlassian account, and then you will have to install the Atlassian CLI tool as well, which can be installed via Homebrew and similar tools. Then just run ACLI auth login and enter the API token from the Atlassian profile, and then you should be good to go. So, now you can just run the ACLI Rovo Dev terminal command. And now we can just go ahead and start using it. You can obviously see the inspiration for this is taken from Claude Code because it is extremely similar as well. Now, as with any such CLI tool, it also has multiple slash commands. Let me guide you through them one by one. The first option is the usage command. If we run this, then you can see the limit that you have here. It gives you 20 million tokens per day, as you can see over here. And you can also see that the token balance will reset every day at midnight UTC time, which means that you get 20 million tokens every day. This only uses the Claude 4 Sonnet model as of now. It is written in their docs, and the quality of the generations is a testament to itself as well. Anyway, so this is the free one, and I don't think that it even allows you to recharge it as of now. It has been more than enough for me, and on most light days, I even get some tokens left. 20 million tokens for Claude. Four Sonnet is almost similar to about $250 of free usage every day, which is pretty awesome. 
Anyway, if we move on to the next commands, then there's the option to run instructions. Instructions are basically a set of prompts that you can pre-configure and save, and then run easily. Claude Code also has a similar feature, so it is basically that. Another option is memory. Memory is basically a fancy name for the Claude Markdown that Claude Code makes. It basically makes rules, or a context kind of thing for your project, by analyzing it and stuff like that as well. It uses an agents file similar to what Codex uses as well. To initialize it, you will just need to type in memory and then in it, and it will do that. Also, there's an easy way to add notes to the memory file right from the prompt box itself. You can type in hash and type the stuff that it should always remember, and it will store that, while you can also remove it with an exclamation sign. Another thing is the sessions. Sessions allow you to create a new thread or switch between threads and stuff like that. You can also see how much token each one uses. Next one is clear, which clears all the messages in the thread, while there's also the prune option that will basically summarize the context up until the message and then just keep that as the context, allowing you to save token money. That is majorly about the commands that it has. Now let me show you how it works. Again, this is not like testing. I'm just showing you how it works. So, I'm going to ask it to do something simple, which is to make me a good-looking 3 dot js game here where I can drive a car on a road. So, once we send it, you'll again see that it is very similar to Claude Code in how the animations work and how the tool calling looks and stuff. It asks you for approval and stuff, and you can set it to always allow or things like that. Anyway, just do that, and in a bit, it gets done, and you can see it here. If we run this, then you can see that it goes ahead, and in a bit, it gets done. So, this worked well, and you can also run this, and you can see that this works pretty well here. Obviously, the results might vary on how good it performs, but from how much I have tested it, it seems very similar to Claude Code to me. I mean, if someone had said to me that it was just Claude Code, then I would have believed it because it is extremely, like, too much similar. The UI elements, how it works, all seem just like Claude Code, which can be a good thing for others, and it is also really good at code editing and everything as well. You can surely take advantage of these 20 million free tokens, and it is quite useful if you burn tokens like crazy, and the 20 million limit is actually really awesome. Like, it is what most people use in a day anyway, and this seems pretty cool in that sense. I hope that they add some options to toggle models as well in the future, and if it gets open source, then that would be a plus, but I don't think that it will happen because it's more enterprise grade. However, since it's free, it's hard to complain, and you can use it while this lasts. I just shared because I liked its free options and it's kinda cool as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!